Paige. What? Write a chips. Oh. Paige. What? I want some chips. Then go get some chips. Paige. What? I want you to get me chips. Not happening. Not happening? What are you talking about? I'm not getting you chips. Get me chips, woman. Fine. I'll get you your stupid chips. Whoa. You need to watch the attitude. I don't like that tone of voice. I don't care. You know what? I'll get the chips myself. It's fine. No. No. Come back here. Handle us. You handle us. You know your predecessors have much more respect. I know Kung Fu. where you should be. Where'd the pizza guy go? Where's the front porch? What happened to my legs? Why do I have an accent? Oh, hey. No, get back here! Where are we? I don't know. It looks like the infant hallway doors, but... I think they're remodeling. I really hope they don't keep this carpet. Oh, hey, it's Cory. What are you doing here? I just want to go get some plates on you. Who's that? That's a guy. Hey, is that you? Whoa, check out the cloak. That's huge. Whoa, man! That's awesome! I don't know what's going on or where we got these outfits, but yeah, there's hundreds of doors here. I'm sure one of them leads somewhere. Well, hello. I am the architect. I created the Matrix, but please, call me Petro. Why are we here? You are the result of a systemic anomaly coherent to the programming of the Matrix. You are here because I have misplaced something of great importance to me. His name is the Keymaker. It is a program I created to access the backdoor programming of your world. He is what I have lost. I brought you here to find him. What's he talking about? You may have noticed that your clothing has changed, but you haven't noticed that you gained abilities that you did not previously possess. Although the process has altered your conscious minds, you remain irrevocably human. With the exception of you. Anyway, if you locate the Keymaker for me, I will gladly allow you to keep your powers. It is your choice, but I must warn you, choose wisely, for the power may not be all that it seems. The door on the right will lead you back to your world, back to the life that you had. Although, with an apparent lack of power. The door on the left will lead you into the Matrix. Please choose wisely. What about the girls? They will be sent back with whoever they came. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm not too sure about this. Your choice, huh? I guess we're looking for the key, Maker. I wish Anakin was here. Who's Anakin? I mean, Corey. Who do you think, Ryan? So, let's get going. Shh. <laughs> 
So are we free to go? You don't seem to understand. Finding the keymaker was never the point. This is about control. Yes, it is. You did what I asked. That is true. And I, like I promise, I will grant one of you your powers. One of us? What are you talking about? Oh, did I forget to mention that before? Oops. Well, only one of you can survive. So this whole thing is a setup just to see us fight it out? What the heck? Yep. Good luck.
I'll kill you. I'll kill you all. Not just the two of you, but your mothers. Just like I lost mine.
never got the chance to say goodbye. Now that all this madness is over, I realize that, even though I've gained infinite power beyond my wildest beliefs, I've lost a friend. And that loss is greater than anything any power could ever give. You are the greatest friends. Blood couldn't make us any closer. You were the older brother I never had. I always looked up to you, even though now you're only four feet tall and six feet under. When I didn't make the basketball team, it was you who was there for me. You helped me out and got me to work on my game. And when basketball failed, you were there to help me find what I was good at. That kind of special relationship is something you only find once in a lifetime. You were always there to lend a helping hand no matter what was going down. You taught me many valuable skills, like teamwork and fair play. Even though we faced many hardships together, our friendship always came first. It really saddens me now that you're gone, but I know deep down in my heart that I'll never forget all the good times we enjoyed together as friends. Sorry about the mess. It's really good pizza. But back to what I was saying. I'm really gonna miss you, buddy. Remembering all the good times we had, having fun, just goofing off, and wasting time. I'll never forget all the good times we had in the car. We loved that car, and in it, the world was ours. Our destination, the horizon. Use your pipe well, and it only is the finest pipe we can. Your friend forever, even in death. Fine. Um, wait, wait. The Witch King. Thank you.
Go. One of us. <laughs> Mark? <laughs> Okay, tell them not to laugh so I can like... No laughing, we're actually... He's a professional. Oh wait, my bad. You're here because I have... <laughs> I saw you right from the beginning. You gotta look. Oh wait, my bad. Okay. Focus. Focus, people. I gotta get out of here. There's a snowstorm. Ready? I see Kurt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a robot Leave it up there. If I break, I'm ready to snap right back into it. I'm back that fast. <laughs> Although the process has altered your conscious minds, you remain irrevocably. Irrevocably. I can't even say irrevocably. Irrevocably. I can't say that. It's irrevocably. 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 I can't say it right up a plea because it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's it's not a word. Get over there. Say the word I want the way I want. Now stand there. Let's go. We took this yeah. from the movie. I don't care. Why? No, I said hello. Of course I said go. <laughs> <laughs>